tank of Swanee and Buckhead. He's admitted to stealing four other machines, one each in Conyers and Alpharetta, and two in Norcross. Henderson is also suspected in two other incidents, one an ATM heist in Henry County and a jewelry store robbery in Snellville. Five Five's Mark Hyman was asking his support appearance today, and he joins us live from the newsroom before I'm back. Mark? What a bizarre string of heights, most of them done in the dark of night at the banks that were hit at the construction and farm equipment nearby. But think about it, you see a guy on a backhoe, are you going to think anything's unusual about it? Well, it seemed like the perfect crime for a couple of months. James Glenn Henderson sat subdued this morning in federal court, charged with two counts of bank larceny, though he's suspected of at least four other ATF thefts, maybe more. The amounts ranging from $8,500 to $73,000 per machine. An FBI agent today told the court Henderson, in a confession, admitted he had a drug problem, that he ended up giving most of the money away. The agent went on to say Henderson was cooperative, even confessing to the other ATM thefts, and telling authorities where he had hidden the money machine. And here's where investigators found one of the ATMs. 40 minutes away in Rockdale County, at the end of a residential street in an undeveloped area, they found the ATM at the bottom of a bunch of stumps and a backloader nearby. There was a receipt that was found with it uh, that identified this machine as coming from the Buckhead location. Uh, we got with Kathy Houston with uh, Wachovia, uh, and there are people coming out today and looked at the machine and took it with it. Authorities are looking into possibly charging Henderson for allegedly stealing the trucks he used for his getaway and borrowing the farm equipment that yanked the ATMs from their cement foundations. Plus, authorities believe he may be responsible for the double smashing grab of a Snellville jewelry store where a safe filled with treasures from Mona's fine jewelry store were taken with the likely invader more farm equipment. Today, a federal court judge found probable cause to bind James Henderson's case over to a federal grand jury. If he's convicted on both counts of bank larceny, Henderson could face up to 20 years. And that's not including those other potential burglary charges involving the trucks and farm equipment.